guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Wave, or not the Build-A-Figure Wave, but the Build-A-Figure of Warlock. I was so close to saying Adam Warlock, but uh, yeah, these two, those two characters have nothing to do with each other, so uh, it, this, this Build-A-Figure took uh, quite a while to build. Um, just finding all the pieces. Uh, the hardest one I would have. Well, I'll get to the hardest one. I'm gonna be doing comparisons. Uh, it does come with technically an accessory, um, but uh, let me tell you what the parts are. The the heads from Colossus. The torsos from Sunfire. One of the legs are from. Uh, Wait, uh, one of the legs, yeah, one of the legs, the right, the left leg is from Cyclops, and the right leg's from Polaris, po Polaris, I don't know how to say your name, uh, and the arms are from Dazzler and Shatterstar, and yeah, uh, anyways, the accessory is this alternative hand, which I'll actually replace just for the sakes of this review, because this is not how uh, it's supposed to be. Now, what would have been cool if they would given us different accessories in each figure, and I wish they would do that more often with the builder figure piece. But here is like this saw blade looking thing that looks really nice. Come on, focus. Get the nice black wash. Really like the gold. See all the mechanics and such. Yeah, that looks good. See the tube there, and uh, yeah, now let's just take a look at Warlock. Uh, now he is a good guy, which is actually I think the first good guy build a figure ever built. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, I really like the face, the expression, kind of like a war scream or whatever, and I like the cables and the hair and like the wash in it, like the little wash, and it looks like a bunch of dynamites. Looks very cool. Looks like they did this and then they put like gold on it, like a gold sheet, and then melted it and pushed it in and took off all the excess. Looks really good. Like the me you can see all the mechanics on the body. Kind of looks like C3PO, doesn't it? If you just look at it from like this and remove the cables, yeah, I could see it. Uh, and you get the fist. Yeah, it looks cool. Like the gold and everything. I don't like how there's a lot more black than gold in some parts, but uh, it, it's more towards the legs, and no one's gonna really look at the legs. And I, and by the way, I really do like the legs. I don't know why. I like the look of how skinny here and gets long, like big down here. And I, I think I should be a little afraid because it's more, uh, you know, it's most more likely going to break. Uh, here's the back of the figure. He does come with these two. Uh, attachments, which do come off very easily when you're posing the figure, so I wouldn't even bother just putting it on. It kind of restricts the articulation, unfortunately. See, it doesn't really bother me, to be honest, but, yeah. It used to bother me when I was little, but not anymore, because I know it's, there's no way out. But, yeah. I like the mechanics on the back of the figure and everything. Articulation is the head can move up quite a bit, can move down quite a bit, can look side to side. There's a slight head pivot. The arms can move out that far, out, and do 360. There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, uh, and the hands can hinge, uh, uh, swivel and hinge slightly because of the cuff right there. Uh, and it can be on both sides. Now this, it, obviously it can swivel, but it also can hinge. So, uh, there's a diaphragm joint, kind of a weird diaphragm joint, but it's just because of the sculpt. Uh, it doesn't really move that much around just because of this piece right here, so. Uh, but he can move side to side, which is really nice. Uh, the hip joints move out that far. There's a thigh cut, double jointed knees that is very awkward, to be honest. Uh, the feet can hinge, move side to side, and pivot. Man, this figures. I, I was actually surprised at how big this figure was when I first like got the legs on. And with the hair, it just makes them even more bigger. Um, 
trying to get him to stand so I could put all the figures out. All right, we got the entire wave all lined up here, and I've got to say, this is a pretty solid wave, even though I don't know much about all these characters. I know, like, obviously, Colossus and... Colossus, Cyclops, and Old Man Logan, but that's about it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, solid wave. I think all these figures are amazing, except for one, which I'll tell you in the, uh, the my least favorite. So, my least, and I, I like how tall Colossus is. Um, my least favorite is Pol Pol Polaris, Polaris, I don't know how to say, damn it, I don't know how to say her name, but, uh, after Polaris, it is... Uh, come on, stand up. Come on, don't you... Di it's Dazzler. It's, it's Dazzler. Uh, and after Dazzler... Oh, no, his claws are messed up. After Dazzler is gonna have to be... Um, Sunfire. Uh, just because there's, there's better figures here. Um, with, you know, more accessories and everything. Uh, then it's gonna have to be Shatterstar. Actually, no. Uh, the, uh, the Warlock, build a figure, then Shatterstar. I'm not taking Warlock just because it's his own review, so. And then it's gonna have to be. Oof. Um. Uh, Cyclops, only because these were a pain in the ass. And, by the way, if you want to know how you can put these so they don't. so they stay up here, uh. And I know they don't line up, but it's better than nothing. Take a hairdryer and kind of move this over it while it's still hot. I push it over the calf, and then I'll stay. Uh, don't push it down on it, obviously. But yeah, so Cyclops. And then it's Colossus, and my favorite figure in this entire wave is the figure that doesn't even come with a build a figure piece. Uh, yeah, this figure is awesome, Old Man Logan. He's so cool. I made a, I made actually like a little fan. Like a little, I don't even know. It's like I kind of like to think of it as a comic strip, as a video. Um, but yeah, this figure is awesome, so, yeah. Uh, I, I posted it on my Instagram, so you can go check that out. It was a while ago, though, so you're gonna have to look through it. Uh, and if you want to know my Instagram, boom, right there. Hopefully I put it in. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe to see so much more content, because I'm posting every single day in June. Um... Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm reviewing tomorrow, so uh, just subscribe and see. It's either going to be uh, a Star Wars figure or a Lego set. So subscribe to see that. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do miscellaneous, I don't know how that was, just random Marvel Legends that I'm not going to be able to build a, fi build, a uh, build a figure. So, and then I'm going to do like two, maybe three of those, and then I'm going to do... Uh, I think, I'm thinking about doing the Sandman wave, so, subscribe to see that, it's gonna come in a few days, so, anyways, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video, peace, thanks for watching, <laughs> I messed it up.